So Fallout London has been just released, but it requires some work to set up, especially if you don't have the game on GOG. This is a tutorial for people that have the game on Steam, so let's get to it right away. The first step is to make sure you have Fallout 4 installed and that everything is working properly, so hit play and the game should launch and get you to the main menu. After finishing checking that the game actually works normally, Fallout 4, go to the Steam menu, power, and go to the desktop mode. Once in desktop mode, we need to download Fallout London and some other stuff. So go into your browser, go into GOG, get into the Fallout London uh, page. In this case, you can look it up if it's not there. So you, it's completely free, so it's just a mod. You need to own Fallout 4. If you own Fallout 4 on GOG, it's a super easy process. So just add it to your library right now. Make sure that you have the Game of the Year edition. That means that you need all the DLC. Once you added Fallout London to your library, to your GOG library, go to the Discover Store and download the Heroic Games Launcher. In this case, I already have it. So download it and log in with your GOG account. So go into Library and it should ask you to log into your Epic account or GOG. In this case, we're doing GOG. And it will load every game that you have there. What we're going to do is Fallout London. I don't have Fallout 4 on GOG. I have it on Steam. So we hit download. After hitting download, it will be on Deck Games Heroic. So remember this path. Pretty simple. Hit install. And at the bottom left corner, you're going to see that it's installing. So you might be asking yourself, OK, why are we downloading this? like that well this is only the installer for the mod you still need fallout 4 that's why we have it already downloaded on steam again if you have it on gog just download fallout 4 from here from your library and download this other game and you should be good to go you should be able to launch it and it will install itself gog did a great job with that all right so we finished the download go into your browser your file browser go into deck games heroic and you have fallout london here and as you can see we have the fallout 4 script extender and the installer so before doing this we need to downgrade fallout 4 in order to install this mod because the next gen version is not compatible so Let's get to it. The team that made the mod has a downgrader tool to get your Fallout version to a compatible one. So follow the link in the description to Nexus Mods. It's called Fallout London Downgraded and Add-ons. Go to Files and download this one, Fallout London Downgraded Linux. Manual download. It will ask you to use your Nexus account. I'm already logged in, so that's why it shows up right away. Hit slow download, go into downloads and hit save. Once it's downloaded, go into your downloads folder and you'll find this zip file. Pretty simple, right click or left trigger, extract here. And you'll have this option, just double click on it or double right trigger. What do you wish to do with this file? Execute. Continue. And now it'll ask you for your Fallout 4 Steam folder. So let's hit this small icon here. Now to find your game, I already found it before, but I will tell you where. In computer, go to this slash, go to home, deck, dot steam. If this doesn't show up, just click, um, go back and type dot steam and it will open it up when you are on deck. So Steam, Steam, scroll down a little, Steam Apps, Common, and you'll find Fallout 4, pretty simple. This is where I installed the game. If you have it on an SD card, it should be in a separate folder in your computer. So keep that in mind. So once you enter, hit Choose, and it'll tell you the directory, Home, Deck, Steam, 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 Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. If it's on an SD card, it should show up in a completely different drive. So hit continue. 
Now you need to log in into Steam. So before doing this, if you don't want to put your credentials and log into Steam through here because you don't trust it, you can also do it manually, but it takes way longer. So I'm going to do it with my Steam credentials. Make sure to have your phone at hand to be able to approve the two-factor authentication. Log into Steam. It's going to load the backend. Yeah, logging into Steam. And it'll say, please authorize Steam Guard. So now you gotta wait for a notification on your phone. I'll hit approve. All right, so I approved it. Sometimes it gets kind of mixed up. So once you approved it on your phone, hit submit. And once you hit submit, sometimes it just stays stuck there. Close it, this message. And once you close the message, log into Steam again. You don't have to put your credentials again, don't worry. It seems to be just a bug with the downgrader. And since you're already authorized, it should continue. Hit downgrade Fallout 4, this will take a long time. All right, so it's downloading the older version, as I said before. Depending on your connection, it's going to take more or less time. But uh, make sure that in your energy savings on AC power and on battery, it doesn't go to sleep. It doesn't suspend the session because this requires your Steam Deck to be logged in and running because it's downloading something and changing a few files. So I'll be back with you once the download finishes. All right, so we're back. Now it finished downgrading Fallout 4 to before the next gen version. And it says Bethesda. Bethesda never changes. So hit finish. Now what we need is to install Fallout London over Fallout 4. So we gotta download something first, which is called Proton Tricks. You'll see why in a second. So look up Proton Tricks and install it. Now going into the Discover Store once again, download Flat Seal. Hit launch once it's downloaded. And this is for permissions. So in the Heroic Games launcher, you probably want to give it permissions, but let's go for Proton Tricks. And in Proton Tricks, you want to allow them access to system files. So I'm going to hit all of this. Of course, if I'm doing something wrong, please guys, let me know. I'm not an expert on Linux. I'm just trying to make this work properly. So apologies if this is wrong. So I'm giving it access to basically everything. Now close it, close it, and we should be ready to go. So go into where you installed Fallout London at the beginning. In my case, Home, Deck, Games, Heroic, Fallout London. Then scroll down until you find installer.exe, double click on it, hit execute. You'll open Proton Tricks. Select Fallout 4, hit OK. It's going to take a few seconds. Once it opens, you might see that it says play. Ignore this button, go to update. And it says Fallout London files will be installed in, but this is not the correct folder. So hit change location and you have to find your Fallout 4 folder. The Z drive is your SSD. The E drive is your SD card. So go to the Z drive in this case, because we are on the SSD, hit home, deck, and this is kind of buggy. When you hit deck, it will get you to the folder that is right behind this one for some reason. But despite those issues, we can get around them. So in this folder, hit at the top right the cog, show hidden files, and it'll show you more folders. Go dot steam. In dot steam, hit steam. Then Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. And here's where you want to install it. So hit Install here. And it'll show you uh, where it is going, it's going to be installed. In this case, in this folder. If you have an SD card, it will be different. Hit Install. And now it's just a matter of waiting for it to install it. So Sit back, relax, make sure the screen doesn't go black or suspend the Steam Deck. And I'll be back with you guys in a moment.
All right, so once that's ready, just close this. And it should be ready to go. So we close basically everything and return to gaming mode. All right, we're back into gaming mode. And you'll have Fallout 4 like before, but it's downgraded and with the mod installed. So this is basically now Fallout London. Hit play. All right, so the first thing that you're going to notice is Fallout 4 will not detect your video card. Yeah, whatever. Hit OK, OK. And as you can see, we have a launcher. This is before the next gen version that directly gets you into the game. Using your gamepad, you can now change the options. So my first advice, we put it on Ultra. Then we go to Advanced and we change basically shadows to high or medium let's put them on medium shadow distance on medium decal quantity on high lighting on high good risk on low or disabled for best performance standard depth of field on the view distance you want to lower the objects to something like this the actors to write 50 percent same with the grass around 40 percent and item fade the same object details on high Something like this. Hit OK on all these. And now it's time to go to play. So hit play and cross your fingers that the mod is going to work. Let's see. All right. So these are, this is the team behind the mod. Five years to make this actually happen. So there you go. Fallout London. Hit any button. Select new. Start a new game, yes. And now you'll be basically thrown right into the game like before, like it should happen in Fallout 4, but now you have the mod installed, which is awesome news. Also, you can have your saves uploaded to the cloud automatically, like in Fallout 4. This might take a few seconds to get into the game. There we go. So now there's going to be a cinematic which you can skip. And you're going to start making your character. So let's go for male. But it's working as intended. And we're behind a piece of glass. That's probably why we get 30 FPS. So it's probably going to be better later. I mean, if I look into the wall, it's 60. I haven't tried performance on this one as of yet. Yeah, is there any issues at all with this? Well, first of all, you need to make your character. But there's a bug with Fallout 4, especially before the next gen version, that before you bring... You need to connect a keyboard because when you bring the on-screen keyboard, the game crashes. I'm going to show you that in a second. So, okay, I have to put my name here. But there will be nothing popping up, so hit the Steam key and X. And I don't know, let's pretend that I'm going to call myself AAA. After you do that and hit Enter. Okay, in my case it didn't crash. Interesting. I thought for sure this was going to crash. Okay, it didn't crash. In case it crashes for you, make sure to plug in a keyboard in my case it didn't crash which is good okay so i have some strength lots of charisma i'm an idiot and i have no luck but it's weird i thought it was going to crash once i opened this but apparently not interesting i also forgot to mention when it comes to compatibility i'm using the default proton so i'm not doing anything special when it comes to that also no launch options everything as default and we're in. We're now playing Fallout London, the mod for Fallout 4. I know it took some work to get it to, <laughs> to get it to do something. But here we are. And when it comes to performance, I'm not sure it seems to be running worse than the base game in this part in particular. So we'll see once we get to the surface, but as of right now. When looking at certain places, it drops into the 30s. This is a Steam Deck OLED, by the way. <laughs> and the terminal here. Thank you for playing our mod. Well, thank you guys for making it. Five years to make this mod.
insane. And there's some GOG merch, which I cannot put on yet. But hey, here it is. That's how you install it. I know if you have the Steam version, it's a pain in the ass. That's why you're watching this video. So I want to thank you for sticking around and getting the game ready. Any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to help out as much as I can. We're doing our best. So <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mod and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.